But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of Him who called you out of darkness into His wonderful light. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. Hey guys, it's Jack Jack and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are doing a hairstyling video from the movie Eurovision Song Contest, the story of Fire Saga with Rachel McAdams and Will Ferrell. We are doing Rachel McAdams' character, Secret, and we are doing 10 hairstyles from the movie. So let's just go ahead and jump into it, starting with her hairstyle during Volcano Man. So all throughout the movie, a like signature secret style. There was lots of texture in her hair, lots of texture, curls, but they were kind of sporadic curls. They weren't like perfectly done curls. So I'm gonna take my flat iron here and quickly curl my hair going in all sorts of different directions and also switching up the like curliness of some pieces. So it's all like, it's not a uniform curl, if that makes sense. We'll talk more about it later in this tutorial, but just some quick texture in the hair. And now we're going to create a deep side part and create a little braid here on the side. This was another signature that was found in many of her hairstyles. She always had kind of like a peekaboo braid, which I totally love. I think that's why I love all of her hairstyles because I always saw at least one braid in her hairstyles. And you know me, I love the braids. So you really only see this hairstyle from like certain angles and it's just like a quick glance. So it may be something you didn't notice like right away, but she does have this one braid and there's little like charms in it and I have these little hair rings and I am just going to kind of slide those onto the braid to add some little bedazzlement to the braid. Wait a second, I don't think that was a real word. I don't know. But anyways, we're going to move back to a center part because it looked like she had a center part. The wind was blowing in her hair during these scenes, but you get the idea. That is it for the first hairstyle. The next hairstyle is definitely Secret's go-to style. She wore this so many times. The scene where she's talking to her mom, the scene when she's with Lars and she has the two cups of coffee, uh, the scene where she's praying to the little elves, and also the scene where she's at the police station, and also she wore this hairstyle when her and Lars were exploring the city. And you probably wouldn't guess right away, but she actually does have the little peekaboo braid with this hairstyle. So we're just going to continue on from the first hairstyle. So once you have the texture and then you have the braid, then you're going to take a section at the top like this and just twist it around to create a little bun. And we're going to bobby pin it in place. These are like cute little space buns. However, they weren't like, they were more flat against her head. I feel like space buns that I've done in the past have been like more rounded. This one's a little more flat. So like try not to like give it too much volume if that makes sense. Um, and I think that's what makes it so wearable with like the mix of her texture. They're not super big noticeable little space buns. They're a little more flat against her head, but such a cute look. I love this one. So the next hairstyle is when they were performing at the Icelandic Song Contest. And yep, you guessed it, this hairstyle does feature the little peekaboo braids. So just like before, we're just going to continue on from the previous hairstyle. So I'm going to create a deep side part and start doing a little Dutch braid. So if you don't know how to Dutch braid, I have a detailed tutorial. I will have that linked below. Definitely check it out because it's a very, um, it's a very like clear step-by-step -step on how to achieve a Dutch braid. So I'm going to do that across my forehead and then once I get to the other side, I'm just going to tie it with a little hair elastic here just to secure it. And then what we're gonna do is take that little tail end and we're going to twist it and then just kind of wrap it around to create a little bun right here on the side of our head. And you're just gonna wanna take a few bobby pins to pin that into place. And now the next thing we're gonna do is create a little three strand braid here. And we're actually gonna repeat the same step like all throughout our hair because in Secret's hair, she had these really crimpy waves. So this is like the quick version um, and the easy way to get some little crimps in your hair. So just go like create a three strand braid and then go over it with your flat iron and go over it a bunch of times. Like you really wanna heat this up. So the more you do this, the crimpier your hair will look. And if you have the time, do this all throughout your hair. It would look best. I only did it for a few pieces, but that is it for this hairstyle. 
The next hairstyle is when she was at Alexander's house party. She had this very cute, simple side ponytail. So we're going to um, push all of our hair to one side like this and gather it all together and tie it into a side pony. And you can take a brush to kind of smooth down the top layer. Her hair wasn't like perfectly smooth, but it was like pretty smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie that with a hair elastic. And then she had hair wrapped around the elastic to cover it. So we're going to do that, but first gotta pull out some little baby hairs here and there just to kind of make it look not as clean and neat because hers wasn't like a perfect side ponytail. So I'm gonna take a section of hair now and wrap it around the hair elastic. So just wrap it around and then once you get to the end, you're going to secure it with a couple bobby pins and that is it for this hairstyle. Super easy and simple and that's, that was her look. The next hairstyle is when she wakes up next to Alexander. And here is what the braids look like from the back. We don't get like a super good view, but that was like the best view that we got. So how we're going to create this hairstyle is we're going to create a little French braid here at the front, just kind of framing our face and going down. When doing all of the braids that we're about to do, you want to create these braids and you know, you have to gather hair to create the French braid effect, but you don't wanna to grab too much hair. So try and avoid grabbing all of your hair because you want to still have plenty of hair down just like loose. So try and avoid grabbing too much hair when recreating this particular hairstyle. And bobby pin any little bumps and mess ups like so. So now we're gonna create the same braid on the other side, just kind of matching that, doing another Dutch braid here and of course tying it with an elastic at the end. So once we have the two front braids, then we're going to do the exact same thing, but this time behind our head. So makes it a little tricky, but it's the same exact thing. We're doing a Dutch braid and we want to grab as little amount of hair as possible because we want to leave down enough hair to leave loose. So braid, try and braid, do your Dutch braid and not grab that much hair. And I only, like braid, Dutch braid a little bit before doing a three strand braid for the rest of it. That probably just sounded so, so confusing. Sorry, I'm terrible at explaining things. <laughs> so now I'm going to do one more little Dutch braid, same exact thing, grabbing not a lot of hair and only going kind of halfway down my head before transitioning it to a regular three strand braid. Time to secure it with a hair elastic and this part is not too difficult. You're just going to grab those two back braids, combine them together and then tie them just like that. Little hair elastic. And that is it for this hairstyle. I tried my best. It's probably not like perfect, perfect, but I did the best I could. And now the next hairstyle is from the rehearsal fight between Lars and Sigrid. She had this bow hairstyle, which is funny because not too long ago I did like Hello Kitty inspired hairstyles. If you missed that video, you could check that out, but we're going to do a quick little bow here. So I'm going to gather my hair at the top of my head and then tie it. And on the third loop, we're going to kind of half tie it like this. Make sure the end of your hair is sticking forward. And with that little bun part, we're gonna split it into two sections like this. And that creates the little like bows. And then with the little tail of our hair, we're gonna pull that back and secure it with a bunch of bobby pins. I have super thick hair. And so it takes a lot of bobby pins takes like five to seven bobby pins for me to pin this down. But that was it for this hairstyle. It's super quick and easy. It was a little random because it's not so much like a secret hairstyle, but I think it was like the costume designers and stuff just trying to change her. The next one is the semi-finals. I really, really like this hairstyle. It was very elegant for her. And so we're gonna start with a center part and then take our teasing comb and we're going to tease the crown of our hair. You wanna get a lot of volume back here, the more the merrier, so just go at it. I actually wish I did a little bit more, but yeah, just have at it with your teasing comb. So now our hair has all this volume, which I love, and this part is super easy. We're just going to tie our hair into a half up, half down style and use the brush to smooth down any lumps. But because we teased our hair, once we like tie it and kind of adjust and pull the hair out, it's going to lay really nicely with the volume underneath from all the teasing. So adjust as needed, make it as big as and voluminous as you would like. And you wanna have a few pieces framing your face like so. And that is it for this hairstyle. 
I love it. This next hairstyle is when she's singing Husavik, which I'm nervous about because this is definitely the most intricate of all of the hairstyles. So the first thing we're gonna do is take a small section at the top of our head and create a French braid. I think this was actually like a fishtail French braid. I, I don't know how to do that. I attempted before filming this and I just couldn't get the hang of it. Um, but if you know how to do that, definitely have at it. But I just decided to do a Dutch braid because that is just what I know how to do. And I'm going to add a few little charms here because she had a few kind of spaced out throughout her hairstyle. Now I'm taking the tiniest itty bitty section right here, right next to it. It's super, super tiny. And I'm going to create a little French braid here. Keep it super, super small. I think the smaller, the better for this hairstyle. And once you secure it with an elastic, you want to take the tail end of that braid and wrap it around into a little bun. Did you hear Zoe's collar? <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyways, we're just going to wrap it and then secure it down with bobby pins. Can you tell that Secrets character loves buns and loves braids? Definitely her go-to. Now the next part of this hairstyle, we're going to grab hair right underneath that little bun that we just made and create another little French braid. So I'm starting off with a French braid, gathering the hair that's around that area, and then I'm going to transition it into a fishtail braid, or at least that's what I am attempting to do here. So do a fishtail braid, and I actually do have a detailed tutorial on that. At least I think I do. I'll leave it linked below or in the cards for you guys if you want to learn how to do a fishtail braid. And once I secure that with a hair elastic, I just kind of separate a little by pulling it apart just to give it a little more volume, but that's basically it. And now moving on to the next side, we're gonna do the same thing, doing another Dutch braid. And I think this one I finished the whole braid off with a regular three strand braid, like we've done in the past. I'm pretty sure that's what I did from here. I guess we'll find out right now. So doing a French braid, no, Dutch braid, sorry. Okay, yeah, and then finishing off with just a regular three strand braid. So that one was super easy to do. And she did have some more charms, so I'm just going to add a few of those here and there. I wanted to add a little more to this side just to kind of balance it out. I felt like the other side looked a little more full. Um, so I'm just doing a uh, fishtail braid here, just a small one on the side, just to give it a little something extra over here. And once I secure that, I'm gonna add a few more little hair rings just to finish off this look. And the last thing we're gonna do is add some defining curls. So I'm taking my flat iron again and just curling a few pieces and that is going to be it for this hairstyle. Very intricate, very braidy. Lots of braids going on here. This hairstyle didn't get a lot of screen time but it's when they were both coming home and she was getting off the bus, this was the hairstyle that she had. So she had the texture in her hair, right? So we are curling our hair very sporadically, just like before, and then also creating her signature peekaboo braid here on the side. And I added the gems like, like normal. And then we're gonna take the top half of the hair and then create a very loose kind of messy bun, twisting that hair together and just bobby, pin it in, bobby pinning it in place. And that is it for this hairstyle. It's super easy to do, super simple, um, but I really liked it and I wanted to include it even though it didn't get a lot of screen time. So that is it for this hairstyle. What do you guys think? And lastly, for this last hairstyle in the final scene, she just had her gorgeous waves with her signature peekaboo braid. So for the waves and the curls, this is like the actual tutorial. So. We are taking small sections of hair and using our flat iron, and I'm alternating directions. So some curls are gonna go back, some are gonna go forward. I'm also alternating the size. This is gonna help give it that very like, very bohemian, messy, sporadic look. So it's very ununiformed. It's very just kind of all over the place, and that's what we're going for. And her hair had a ton of volume, which I absolutely love. And one little trick, if you want to add more volume while curling your hair, you wanna take lots of little sections. So the more sections, the better. So I'm just going to continue braiding, again, very sporadically, go on all sorts of different directions. Some are going to be soft waves, some are going to be spiral curls. So it's all going to be different. Once that first layer is curled, I'm going to tie it with a hair tie just so it doesn't get mixed up with the rest of the hair and then create a new section and continue on from there. Um, going up my head, I'm doing a total of four different sections, but 
kind of sliced between like the, the hair like that I'm doing right now, that I'll do like as many as I possibly can. I'll like make the sections really, really small so I can do a lot. Who knows, I may have to start curling my hair this way because I love the messy look, like very beachy, bohemian, just kind of no care in the world type of hair. I, I love that, I live for that. And Secret's hair uh, was just perfection. I just loved how messy it was, but yet styled at the same time. So her hair was definitely my favorite. That's why when I watched the movie, I watched it so many times at this point, but when I watched it, I was like, I need to do a hair tutorial video of all her different hairstyles because they're so cool. I just love her character. I love Secret's character. So again, going back to the hair, some pieces are going to be like perfect little spiral curls and others are going to be kind of loose, wonky looking waves. And they're all going in different directions. So this is like where, where it should be like right now. So I'm gonna tie it back this and then create another section in my hair and just have at it. She did keep a center part. So whatever curls and however messy you make them, Make sure you just keep that center part so that way it's kind of like on point with her hairstyle. But after we finish curling, we are going to do the signature peekaboo braid. So this is what the curls should look like, something like this and we can move on to the next step. So I'm going to create a deep side part real quick and I'm going to create a um, Dutch braid. I keep wanting to say French braid. We're gonna do a Dutch braid. Again, I'll leave the detailed tutorial down in the description box for you guys or in the cards so you can check that out if you wanna learn how to Dutch braid. And then um, once I get like behind my ear, I'm just going to finish it off as a regular three strand braid, which is super easy, and then secure it with a hair elastic. And then we are going to add a few little hair charms in the hair. I think it looks so cute. And because like her curls are like all over the place, sometimes you don't always see those little gems. They're like, it's little peekaboo gems. They're so, so cute. So that is this hairstyle, the final hairstyle in this video. Let me know which hairstyle was your guys' favorite in the comments below. I had so much fun filming this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next one.